the cast is Les Rekalega and today I'll be doing my fifth episode um, breakdown of the Book of Boba Fett. And yeah, so before we get into this video guys, please um, um, please um, subscribe to my channel. There's 19.3% of you guys that are not subscribed to my channel. It would be amazing if you guys did that, so please do that. Please go down there, like, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, enjoy this video breakdown. So, so, so the name of this um, chapter is called Chapter 5, The Return of the Mandalorian. So that is interesting. And so, so our first scene we get of is we get the first scene of Mando going into this go into going into this butcher place and obviously he goes to the curtains and then we see him return and he goes obviously this is his his um his job like he does because it's what bunt hunters do. He goes in, he finds um the guy that that he wants and then he he takes him out as well, he takes out a, a few of the others of the others and um then he leaves with the bounty and he goes to a place gets um he goes to the, to the lady and she gives him his money and so he goes and then we see him go to the we see him go find a new place that's called that's a new Mandalorian base that's um that's that I call the headquarters and it looks like that this um in this shot look well not well, not well I don't have it on, on the screen but um uh, on on this um on the show, it, on, the, on the episode, it showed that it looks like they were in the, um, the place of the Mandalorians. How do you know that, um, that bridge uh, barrier, uh, barrier, if you guys want to know what I mean? Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you guys should know the uh, name what I'm talking about. And so, I think it's that. I'm not entirely sure what, what it would be. Um, the Mandalorian barrier gates, something like that. And so we see him go there, and... And... Um, he goes in. He talks to the armorer, and she, she, she um, um, Mando wants um, the armorer to make to take his spear, his Mandalorian spear, and make it into something for Grogu. So that's what she does. And then, and then she asks, "Have you removed your helmet from 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 anybody?" And he said yes. And so we also find out that um, uh, she. She finds out that he has the uh, dark saber, and she he shows it to her, and then um, and then uh, Pas Vizsla, the uh, big um, blue Mandalorian, um, wants to have a um, dual fight against Mando for the dark saber. So um, Mando accepts the the the, the uh, take, and he takes it, and he we have we see them in a, a big epic battle. And which is awesome to see, and obviously in the pictures I show you of them fighting, and it's amazing to actually see them do that. And well, obviously previously before that we see um, we see uh, Mando and the armor busy training, and obviously the the um, the dark saber doesn't is very heavy for Mando, so because he's fighting against it, not fighting with it. And so when he does the battle with um, Paz Vizsla, it's the same problem, but. Um, Pesvisa almost beats him, gives um, hands uh, Mando his his backside, but um, Mando still gets the dark saber nevertheless again, and he gets kicked out of the um, out of the uh, the uh, Mando headquarters because he has revealed his face to to someone. He just said he has revealed his face, but obviously Pesvisa hasn't revealed his face. So sadly, Mando has to leave, and so Mando leaves, and then he um, he Mando. So Mando leaves on a um, transporter that goes to Mos Eisley, and and then we uh, we see him um, go, and on this transporter he um, is busy sitting down uh, and sitting until he gets to Mos Eisley, and then he sees this um, uh, Greedo um, kid looking at him. Now obviously uh, Mando takes off, takes this little parcel that he made for Grogu, and he looks at it and reminds him of. Um, of uh, of Grogu, the 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 uh, Greedo kid reminds him of Grogu, and obviously that's why he he no kid waves at him, but he doesn't wave back, obviously because he's he's Mando, of course, as what Mandalorians do, and so and so the next thing we see is mm -hmm. 
And so next thing we see um Mando go visit Amy uh Amy C- Cedalia for a um for a new ship she has mentioned to him. And so obviously Mando goes and see what's what she has. And obviously um she's she says, Well, um I don't know if you'll be excited to be seeing this, but um I have this new ship. And obviously this ship we all know and love. It is the N1 Naboo Starfighter. So amazing, and so obviously she says, "Oh, I'll show you the potential, how much it has." And obviously in the picture here, you see, you see them, um, uh, her talking, and you see him talking, and then, and then we we get now another scene of them um, working on it and fixing on it. And so obviously um, um, they do that. Um, we see. We see them fixing the starship, we see Amy, um, the pit droids, and we also see BD-1. Finally, we get a realistic live-action version of BD-1 from Jedi Fallen Order. That might indicate that we might be might be seeing a live-action version of Cal Kestis in the next upcoming um, Star Wars um, programs and stuff like that. So, it's just awesome to see BD-1 there, and he helps Mando by showing him where to put a piece of metal onto the... Uh, Ship to finish it, and um, next thing, um, Amy says to, to Mando to go take it out for a ride. So that's what Mando does. He goes out, he takes it out for a ride, and he goes straight onto the um, the um, goes straight onto the um, the pod racing race track. Now all of a sudden we see a um, a glimpse of the track that was um, from this was um, uh, 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 past. Um, it was um, after Phantom Menace, and we see a um, on one of the scenes in Phantom Menace, we see a a track with a bridge on a a, a, a gate. And now all of a sudden, when we see Mando go past the speed on the next part, we see that there's no um, gate it's destroyed. So obviously that's the same uh, shot they take. They took. They just changed things to make it look like it's been there for a long time, and it's after Phantom Menace. So that's awesome. We see him go past there. Then we see him go into space. Um, obviously, um. Before he goes in space, he goes through the, the canyon, and then he goes into space, and then Mando, Mando sees a um, sees the Greedo kid, and um, the Greedo kid looks at him, and Mando, look, Mando looks at the Greedo kid, and all of a sudden we see Mando get caught by um, um, the Resistance X-Wings. But obviously the Resistance X-Wings are wanting to know what's he doing up here, he says he's taking the ship up for a test drive, and all that, but they say they don't see you on the monitors and scanning. Uh, things and so one of the other um, X-wing um, guys says that um, I've heard of you before, somewhere familiar, uh, maybe from on Navarro um, on the uh, on the uh, uh, on the on the Imperial old um, base uh, thing. And man says, "Oh, I don't know what you're talking about." And all of a sudden, he speeds off and then back to um, the speed. Well, and then back to uh, uh, fires all the way back, and then um, finds Amy um, talking to Finnick Shand. Now Finnick Shand is um, wanting to um, Finnick Shand um, gets down from where she is because they try to um, keep her in the hangar, but she um, comes out and then she says that she is wanting to recruit Mando for a job, and he realizes it's to um, help Boba Fett. Now obviously she's asking Mando to. Um, come, come, come with us to help, to help Boba, and so obviously Mando does that for the money, and um, he sees he does, and so Mando says he'll go and help them, and so yeah, so that's the um, the uh, breakdown um, episode for you guys. I hope you guys uh, like it. Um, I think that's for so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my previous um, episode of episode um, four where I do a also a breakdown video of episode 4 and don't forget to follow um, uh, Star Wars Meg, Star Wars Coffee and um, Ceci Arba on YouTube, um, iCobra on YouTube, Ella Ash on TikTok and uh, and yeah and don't forget guys I'll be doing some more videos, I've got some more videos coming and um, thank you for guys watching and may the force be with you guys always. Bye bye guys. Oh guys, and I forgot to say, and I forgot to mention. Um, what do you guys think of um, episode five? For the majority of it, what do you guys think of it? 
and I hope to see you guys soon in the uh, next video. And tell me guys down below what you guys think of it. And may the force be with you guys always. Bye bye guys.